morning, Joel. You're late. Very late. I mean, there's late, and then there's late. Thank you, Patty. Everybody is already in the conference room. Mrs. Lunsford? She's in there, too, and she is not smiling. What about Tom? He even beat you in here today. Give. Oh, did Sean Mitchell email the specs about the playback thing? I don't know. The server's down. Again? Mm. Perfect. It's right. not going to come as a surprise, but I have to leave early. I've already told Tom. Patty. I've got a dentist appointment, and my kid has got the Patty. chicken Patty. There Patty. are spotches Patty. all over his Patty. face. Patty. Some of them are red Hi. and oozy. Hi, Patty. Thank you. You're late. Ah. Uh, yes, Martin. Thank you, Martin. They're all in there. Everyone. Everyone? Mm -hmm. Oh, except you, of course. You're out here playing hall monitor. Where's the pedicure day? Ah, he graces us with his presence. What's it gonna take, Joel? Sorry, ma'am. Traffic was... Brutal. Blah, 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 blah. It doesn't help that you live halfway to Jupiter, Joel. Maybe one day you'll consider moving back to a planet, oh, say, Earth, that can sustain life, not to mention reality. Tom. Yes, sir. Where's Stevenson? I thought he was pitching today. No show? Never mind. We'll go on without him. What comes from his mouth is not worth wasting what is left of my hearing on anyway. Speaking of which, Michael. Yes. Well, finally, a definitive word on... Will someone please tell Tom to stop staring at me like that? Um, Tom, stop drooling. Yes, ma'am. As I was saying, finally, a definitive word on the Papa Jack Frozen dinner account. Not going to be us. Who got it? Don't tell me there's red water, you and your Al scream. Smith and Drew. Thank you for the war cry, Mother. Ah, how about some good news? I hear that we are still very much in the running for playback underwear. Joel, they are sending the revised specs today, is that correct? Yeah, uh, briefed on the briefs today, Michael. Wonderful. OK, moving on. Oh, uh, yeah, a uh, little birdie. What... Someone's touching my feet. That's not me. Joel, what are you doing, man? Come on. Gentlemen, you're pushing me too far. As I was saying, a little birdie is whispered in my ear, and Randall Graham of Bonnie Doon Vineyard is sniffing around once again. Now, people, we blew a golden opportunity last year. If the chance should come our way, let's try and not repeat. Hmm? Uh, Michael, do we know if they're in bed with anyone yet? Not that I know of. Better not be. And finally, a heads up. Our proposal to the org people is now set for the 28th. Tom. Yes, sir, the uh, org proposal is on the 28th. We're losing accounts, and the two of you are screwing around like a couple of god dang schoolboys. When I start making some god dang cuts around here, you won't think it's so funny. I promise you that. David Org is launching a new product in Q2 of next year. He would like a fresh campaign strategy, a new slogan, something that will integrate well into the infomercial platform. Uh, Oric. Now, those are the fishing stuff people. No, Tom. This is Orc, the vacuum stuff people. Well, that's that's easy enough. Um, life sucks, and uh, so do we. That's it. What? All right, I'm leaving. Then there were two. <laughs> you know, you're gonna get me into trouble. Fuck up, Nancy. You know, stop your whining. Okay. No, I'm serious. The old lady, she's she's serious. Listen, the old bag is bluffing, all right? She cuts us what she left with. Her son is QB. Michael running the show? I don't think so. No. Whoa, 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 whoa. Not the face, not the face. What are you doing? Ah, damn it. Ow. You're an ass. And I quit. By the way, I'm taking Gianto and Hanson's with me. Ow, she's bluffing. I don't think so. Call me. Ow.
understand. Nobody talked to him all week. Wow. I'll alert the Surgeon General, because it's official, folks. This job can kill you. I mean, he's been dead for days, you know, into the nights. Aren't you supposed to smell something? I mean... You think so, wouldn't you? I didn't smell anything. I didn't smell anything either, no. Does he get overtime for this? I, I, I know he doesn't get it, but uh, his family, do they get the money? Well, I guess. I mean, they got to do an autopsy, and they have to determine the time of death. Well, you know how they do that? They take a thermometer, they stick it... Guys! Stevenson's chair was a Recaro racing chair, Joel. I mean, the thing was absolutely trick. I hate to admit it, but I used to think to myself, if that guy ever bought the farm, I'd want dibs in that chair. Yeah. Now you couldn't pay me to touch it. No way. Well, there's always the desk. Sorry, I tried calling, I swear. Traffic was ferocious. Go. Five minutes. Oh, um, by the way, some guy in the office died today. Didn't it smell? That's I mean... what I thought, you know? You, you would think? It's been in there for days. I don't know, it's weird. Weird stuff. They're in the office, huh? Guess you never know. Oh, honey, you okay? Mm-hmm. No, you're not all right. Go to that place. Hey, come on. Why don't you just let it out? You know, you'll feel better. I want a baby. Tonight, not tomorrow night, not last night. I got it. Look, a guy died in the office today, all right? Just give me a little... Wait a minute, okay? Wait, you see how you made that leap, huh? A guy dies, you start thinking about having a baby. Death, babies, babies, death. You know, right there next to one another. <sighs> Honey, can we please just have a couple of laughs tonight? The idea that he's just sitting there and, and you know, and it's all over. It's done. It's, it's done. Finished. You're done. Hey, you know, but here's the thing. No, I swear, it could be a car crash, it could be a plane crash, heart attack, a uh, gunshot, even the big C. It doesn't bother me. I'm not afraid to die. Could you at least wait until we have college money for the kids? And how about finishing the addition on the house already, huh? I paid at the door. <laughs> no, look, I still got some stuff I got to do. I know, but you know what? When you die, it's like game over. Game over. Yeah, well, neither am I. I'm scared. I mean, I just don't want to go right now. <laughs> Max, Sarah, beat it. I mean it. Back to the cave. Arr. Sorry, Mom. Sorry, Joel. Oh, that's all right there. Thank you. So, Hope, you've been conspicuously quiet about this topic. What is your take on the big dirt nap? Oh, I don't know. It's a natural part of the progression. I guess it would just be nice to have done the things you wanted to do. Right. So I had going to the Paris, to that to-do list, before you kicked the bucket, Tommy. Yeah, here, here. don't move! Cute. Well, if there was ever evidence that children can upset a perfectly perfect life, that was it. That was domestic terrorism. I want children. Oh. 
I want children. I want you at home in time to sit around a dinner table with us. I am tired of living our life alone. I want what everybody else has. Wh what's that, huh? Maxed out credit cards? Clutter? Uh, Stress? Sleepless nights? And, and not to mention, what? Chicken pox? Little monsters? Come on, you're talking about a serious downgrade in lifestyle, sweetie. Out of that, rob a bank to keep the boat afloat. I'm sorry. Hey, listen. Sweetie, things are going so good, you know? So good. I mean, there's nothing that you can't have. Listen. You want to go to Paris? We can actually go. Actually, there is something that I want. Name anything. A baby. Time for work, Joel. Yes, ma'am. Forget the fact that you're 30 minutes late. In your case, that is an improvement. Guess what I saw last night? I give. A new Papa Jack ad. Your ad. Very fast. Too fast. What? Who came up with a single dad idea, Joe? Well, it was mine. Then how did I see it on television last night? Lonely dad, two kids, no wife in sight. Boo-hoo, boo-hoo. Image for image. Your concept, not our account. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure. You are not sure. I see. Well, you better watch yourself, kid. Because I'm watching you. Yeah. What's that supposed to mean? Hey, Michael. Hi. What are you boys doing Sunday morning? My mom wants to know. Nothing. Um, actually, Hope and I have plans. Good. Sunday morning, 7 a.m. tea time. Rain or shine. See you there. I think she beat him as a child. I can't go. What do you mean you can't go? I can't go. I, I had... Look, I have to be at a brunch, a uh, breakfast with Deepak Chopra. Hope got to take oh, it to a brunch with Deepak. Joel, listen to me. Mrs. Lunsford wants to play golf with us, and frankly, she's already upset with you because of your behavior in the meeting yesterday, and I can't say as I blame her. Oh, my behavior. Yeah. Yeah, and the whole Papa Jack thing. I mean, you know, if it was me, I just... I wouldn't want to god dang disappoint her again. You know, just think about it. Oh, honey, I'm home. Hey, there you are. It's gonna be a hot yeah, here I am. Honey, you remember Stephen? We worked together on Save the Bay. Hi there. Touch me. Oh, yeah, yeah, right. Hi. We ran into each other, and it was so fortuitous. Tell them what you're working on now. Oh, this is so exciting. Feed the deer. Oh. Feed the man. Wow. Did you know there are over 27,000 deer roaming our local hills and mountains, right here in our own backyard? And with urban sprawl, they're quickly running out of food. Oh, 
Yeah. Yeah, it's funny. I, I didn't associate Los Angeles with even having deer. Hello, Joel. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, honey, you look beat. Yeah, yeah, it was kind of a rough day. It's gonna be it must a have hot been. night. Hey, you're up, Joel. Show us how it's done. Just rip it and rip it. Big dog bark. Be the ball. Back, back in play. Mm, I'm sleeping on the couch tonight. You haven't told Hope that you're blowing off Deepak yet, have you? There's your ball. Well, I told her that I would be late. Still make half. Just hurry this thing along. Hey, I'm not the one slicing my ball into the jungle, George. Hey, doesn't it necessary to give you any grief for, like, missing out on Saturdays and coming home late, skipping out on stuff? Well, she knows work's important. It's where her bread's buttered. Ah! Oh. Wow. Thanks. Help. Nah, just, I'm never home. I'm never there. <sighs> Suddenly, Hope's got this pseudo-replacement all lined up for me, this guy. Is... What? No, 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 no. He's like some gay activist. His name is Steven. Oh, wait, wait, wait a second. This is perfect. How is that perfect? Are you kidding me? This Steven character's gonna take care of all the girly crap for you. You know, the shopping, the charity, the listening. Joel, you get to come home and do a man's job. I envy you. That's you over there. Nice throw. Thanks. You go, right? It's me. Damn straight, Mrs. L. Oh. How do you do that? I don't know. I just feel like I can't do anything right, you know? And if I'm catching up with work at the office, and I'm not spending enough time at home. If I'm spending time with Hope, then I'm not getting enough work done at the office. Every time I put out one fire, another one flares up, and then nobody gets happy, you know? Except Steven. Maybe you could introduce Vanessa to Steven. Thanks. You're terrible, Joel. Thank you. have any idea why we're here today. Oh, uh, bonding. Stevenson. He left a very big hole in this guy. You know something, the more I think about that guy Stevenson, the more he creeped me out. I mean, did you ever notice he used to wear the same thing day after day with the same color? It was so... No, but I mean, it looks good in you. It works. Yes. Well, now that he's gone, somebody is going to have to fill his place. Nice corner office. Ground level parking. Did you see the way they scraped that guy off that beautiful chair? I mean, it was disgusting. Ugh. Ugh. 
Nice play, Mrs. Lunsford. Shut up, Tom. Yes, ma'am. You tell them, Michael? I was trying to, but for creative folk, they seem to have a very difficult time picturing the situation. Jimson is dead. Tough luck. Can't change that. Wouldn't if I could. Now, if either one of you want to fill his slot, getting the Oric account is one dandy way to start showing it. Joel, I want you on time, not a minute late. In order to infantile horse shit, Tom, just grow up. Yes, ma'am. I want 110%. You better be the first ones in the office and the last ones to leave. I want to see you kick butt. Otherwise, I will hit the street and find a replacement for Stevenson myself. Back nine, gentlemen. Let's hit it. I planned this months ago. I wanted to share it with you. Sweetie, look, in the end, it was just another guy talking, you know, getting paid to talk. Another buck in the pocket of Deepak. I'll buy his book, OK? Just cut me some slack here. Did you ever say that Deepak Chopra speaking in an informal setting is just a guy talking? It was important. It was life-changing. This was important, too. Oh, golf is important? You hate golf. Yeah, I know I hate golf, but it was with Mrs. Lunsford. There's a promotion involved. It means more mo You know what? I'm just trying to keep all the balls in the area, hon. Oh, come on. Hope, oh, really? Look at that. You know what? That is so cliche. I should have taken Steven. He would have made the time. He's got more balls in the air than you can even imagine. <laughs> yeah, I'm not even going to touch that one. He would have appreciated it. If he wasn't too busy feeding the deer. so then I can use the carpool lane. What? The carpool lane, the diamond lane, it needs two people. Come on, man, it's easy money, but it's gotta be right now. Come on, right now. All right. Okay, good. Yeah, uh, you know what? Change of plan. Back, back seat.
out. Okay. Okay, what do you say you meet me here around six and uh, I'll pay you another five to ride back? What do you say I hang around till pigs fly out of your butt and monkeys start to hump them? <clears throat> right. Morning. Good morning. Gino, no neutering. Oh, nothing from playback yet. They're not answering their phones or returning calls either, and hey, you're early. Yes, I am. Is Tom here yet? <laughs> no, not yet. Listen, I did a search on our three friends here and on David Oreck, the man behind the machine. This guy is like 80 years old. He rides a Harley to work every day. He flies planes. And by all accounts, these things are the real deal. So they're vacuums. Mm-hmm. Xerox is an electric device that picks up dirt and floors and carpets. Oh. You were right, Amanda. I did not recognize this machine. You know, maybe had you put some curlers in and, you know, start pushing this thing around. All right, that's enough. Cool handle. Good ergonomics. Nice friendly little grip. Cool colors. Good, that's good, come on, keep going. Don't let me interrupt, guys. <laughs> hey, man, I heard you came in on time today. Yeah. And a dime will get you a cup of coffee, but you know what it won't get you? Auric. You know why, Joel? Magic. Magic. A whole lot of magic going on here. Uh, yeah, me too. A whole lot of magic. No hard feelings. Hey. Mm. Hey. Mm. Hey, off the car. Mm. Off the car. No. Five more bucks started sounding pretty good, huh? Hi, this is Joel. And Hope, or Hope. And Joel. <laughs> Depending on how you put order to the chaos. Leave, Leave us, us a message. Hey, Binky. Hey, Binky Winky, it's me. Uh, listen, I'm so sorry about yesterday, last night. I just, I don't ever want us to be like that, ever. Yeah, well, I just wanted to call and tell you that, so I'll be home early. Bye. My wife. Sounds hot. Hey. See you tomorrow. Oh my goodness, what about Barbara? Uh, no. Oh, it's so trout. Kitchen! Know? Guess it's home early. I thought we could grab a... Oh, Stephen. Hey, Busy Bee. Stephen just gave me a recipe for an amazing chicken salad. Oh, I see. Ooh, 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 ooh. I like this one for a baby girl. What about Belle? I love the way it rolls off my tongue. Belle. Oh wait, I spoke too soon. How about Carly? Yeah, Carly, I love that one. Mm -hmm. Of course, if it's a boy, I still like Tad or Bo, or even Jason. What about you, Joel? 
Have any favorite baby names? He's a doll. I'm not sure that I'm ever gonna want to have kids, you know, a baby. And I, I know that's very important to you, but I can't picture it. You know, I, I can't, I can't visualize it. What are you telling me? Are you saying? No, no, no. No, 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 God, no. It's just you deserve to have everything in this life, and I, I should be able to give it to you. And I, I can't, I, I, I don't know why. Because I love you so much. something in your hair? You noticed, huh? Very observant. You parted your hair? New job, new do. There's always a place at the table for respect. You got eagle eyes up there, boss. Eagle eyes. This is Joel. This is Joel? That's how you answer a phone? Just shut up, sit back there and... Hello? Hey! Hi. Listen, about last night, I... Hi, Binky Winky. What? <laughs> no, uh, no, I, I, that's all right, honey. You know, it's, uh... Um, uh, uh, honey, hold on a minute. I, I got another call. Wait, but Joel... This is Joel. 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 Shut up. Joel, Michael, look, I want to be in the loop on this org thing every step of the way. Whatever you and your team come up with before you present, mm -hmm. I want to know about it. Needless to say, the old lady wants this thing badly. And more importantly, she does not want this one to slip our grasp. So I'm going to run quality control before you put anything in front of her. You report to me. Consider it a favor. Right, got it. Michael, hold on, OK? I got hope on Michael. Hope, Michael, Michael, hope, hope, hope. Wife sounds like a cracker. Is she hot? Would you please? Oh, oh, I see. You go for the big stuff, huh? She is, okay? She is hot. Describe her for me. Start with the loops. I'm serious, okay? You sit back there, you mind your own business, or this little partnership between the two of us is over. You got problems, man. <laughs> yeah, I got problems. Yeah. Yeah, I got problems. You live on the street. Oh, I got problems. That's what I said. You got problems. Wow. <laughs> Five o'clock tonight. We're leaving early. Try to stay out of sight. Tick-tock-tom. 
It's the turkey neck she wants to get rid of. Mm -hmm. She's the queen. Other vacuums suck. You're joking. Well, I don't see you coming up with any great ideas. You call those great ideas? It's better than nothing. No, they're not. Nothing, the absence of anything is better than nothing. Guys, guys, lifestyle, okay? Lifestyle. So, Joel, hmm? what do you think? What? This like a permanent gig? Yeah, sure, why not? Good. So what do you think about a raise? Eh, no. That would mean you're gay or like this and you're a guy. Isn't that something? Uh -huh. I swear to God. I left this way right as well. Here and I am on time. Hello, Joel. So where are we off to, our uh, happy little threesome? Oh, goody. A three-way. <laughs> Good. Good. Up, down, smooth. Good. Now in. Now curve around, tickle it, massage it, love it a little. Now cup it, cup it there, good. Up, down, up and down, good, good job. You guys got it. So, Joel, what made you want to be an admin? Oh, no, nothing really. I actually never grew up wanting to be an admin. So what did you want to be when you grew up? I wanted to be a shooting guard for the Celtics, but I was short and white. I couldn't shoot and jump. I was a creative writing major. And, well, I, I got into the ad game because it was, you know, sometimes creative and provided a good living for my family. Family? You mean you and Hope? Yeah, right. Just, uh, me and my girl. Hmm? Oh, wait. Oh. 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 Did you break? Can I glue it? Sorry, honey. It was so pretty. Trouble in paradise? Paradise. Right. My wife has this gay boyfriend. Hmm. Wait a minute, I'm not telling you this. Okay. But but the thing is, you know, he's not he's not even really gay. You know? Oh, he looks gay. I mean, talks gay, acts gay, dresses gay, but he's not really gay. He's he's just faking it. Didn't your mama teach you nothing? Oh, what, not to judge a book by its cover? Yeah, I know, but that's what I'm saying. How do you know he's not gay? Well, because I caught him staring at my wife's... you know, her... her ass. So? So? Yeah. Maybe he's just looking at it. Like a pretty bird. I feed the birds in the park sometimes. That's wonderful. Really. Oh, thank you for sharing. But you know what? He's practically drooling over it. I gotta meet this woman. Really? Does she know he's not gay? No. Okay, Joe. I'm gonna teach you about the birds and the bees. Oh, boy. This should be good. You're not listening. You think you know everything. You gotta give her something new, Joel. 
in the bedroom. Buy a new bed. Or, better yet, have a fantasy night. Yeah, that's what I'd do. A little make-believe with Binky Winky, then an energetic game of hide-and-seek. was very interesting. Was it? Some men came by and delivered a new bed. That's so strange. Joel, very cool. <laughs> mm -hmm. Uh-huh. <laughs> baby thing is, um, it's really important to you, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, I'm not, I'm not there yet, but I, I, uh, I'm starting. But you want yeah, I think that, I think I can see it. It? Yeah. It. I think. Bought a new bed. Should have tied her up. Cheaper. Anyway, I like a hard surface. Beds are too soft. <sighs> oh, a new bed but no sleep, huh? Boing, 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 boing. <laughs> no. <laughs> well, well, yes. Actually, I keep having this dream, you know? Fire engines? Lots of fruit? Naked Eskimos? Is everything bizarre and sexual with you? You know anything else? Anyway, continue. Well, it's about this guy I used to work with, Stevenson. Worked with him for like 10 years. 10 years, you never really know the guy. I can count on one hand the conversations that we had. Anyway, he dropped dead at his desk. It's not that much, really. The dream, I mean. I just walk into his office and he looks at me and goes, wake up, Joel. That's it. Are you naked in the dream, Joel? No, I'm not. But you know what? He is, I think. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's just anxiety about work. You know, now that he's gone, there's a chance for me to move up the food chain a little. Nice promotion. Take a spot. Maybe you're afraid you'll get your little promotion and die at your desk the way he did. Mm. Now, Slick. Dang talk. Yeah. Or account report. Well, we have some, uh, some very strong ideas, strong concepts, really. Um, they're still in the early stages, but I think they're very, very strong. My team's given 110%. I'm very, very happy with them. Not to mention impressed. 
28 is going to be here faster than you think. Get impressed with that. Oh, we'll be ready, ma'am. Don't worry. Good. She what, another hour a day buys you? <laughs> How about you, Tardy Tom? Oh, we, oh, man, we got some good stuff. We got, um, that's, you know, I'm just so proud of the team, too. I really, I'm proud of them. Don't disappoint me, gentlemen. Report to me the day before, 27th, and I'll beat it. Get rid of the pink. Let's go red. Hmm. Massage the toes. Pinky toe? Little pressure. Oh, yeah. You're not able to touch those feet, my God. Disgusting, isn't it? Hey, are you and Vanessa still planning on coming over for dinner? I hope once tonight. Um, hey, come on, look. Just because they stuck the gloves on us and threw us in the ring doesn't mean that we got to come out swinging, right? I mean, you and me, Pally, we got history, right? Hell yeah, we're coming over for dinner. First of all, you owe us. Second of all, a night without the kids is like paradise. Yeah, and you're right. I mean, without us. Okay. So, uh, what happened to you? I mean, how did you become, uh, my... Your carpool guy? Yeah, if you don't mind my asking. Huh. My, my, my. What? I'm looking at what looks like a big pro basketball player, number 24, doing a jump shot in his shorts. Playback. It's all about the hang time. Weren't you just saying that on the phone the other day, boss? This is like the third time, though. It's, it's direct ripoffs of my stuff. It's always a little tweak, but the playback thing was verbatim. Can't it be a coincidence? Like maybe somebody came up oh, with a similar idea? See, you know, two or three times identical? No, no, not a chance. No. Well, you know, thoughts are things. You know, once an idea is out there, a thought, and someone thinks it, it's there. It, it's out there. Like all around us in the world, in mm -hmm, the air. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Forget it. <laughs> Forget it. No, no, no. <laughs> hey, Joel, wait. Hope, I see what you're saying. And I like it. I do. I, I'm going to steal this. I don't, I'm going to use it somewhere. I don't know where. Yeah. Um, maybe, maybe, actually, maybe actually I do know where. Yeah. Right? Yeah. yeah, you know, honey, like you said, it's, you know, if it's out there, then uh, you might as well take advantage of it. Am I missing something here? All right, so what was up with you and Tom? You guys gave each other the evil eye all night. Oh, nothing. It's just a work thing. We're both up for Stevenson's position. It's all in the spirit of good old-fashioned competition. You want his job? Of course. Come to a couple of windows, nice pile of cash. Uh-huh, all of which, of course, means longer hours. No, actually, I have, uh, and they're all worked out. I, um, uh, got a carpool guy. A who? Some guy I pick up so that I can use the carpool lane. Someone from work? No. Then who? This guy that I found hanging out on the freeway on ramp. You mean a will work for food guy? A guy with a sign? Yeah. Only he's the, you know, the Vietnam vet guy. Look, I pay him so that he'll ride with me and then I can beat all the traffic. Is this safe? I think so. Is this safe? Yeah, I think so. I don't know. Remember what happened to old? What's his name? Trust me. This guy is harmless. I don't know. I mean, this no, sounds weird. Trust me. Trust me. He's completely harmless. Does this guy have a name? Does this guy 
have a name? Joel. You don't even know his name. How long has this been going on? Uh, a week or so. Oh, a week? And you're just getting around to telling me about it now? <laughs> well, how long were you hanging out with your, your guy pal, Steven, before you decided to tell me about that? Good morning. Good morning. Uh, got a coffee? Why, thank you, Joel. <laughs> now that's service. <laughs> yeah. I probably should know this by now, but um, what's your name? Why do you want to know? Well, I should know some stuff about you, like your name, right? Uh huh. That's my business. You want to know stuff about me? What about you? What do you want to know? Why me? Don't you have people you work with who live out this way? Well, yeah, a couple of people, but, you know, honestly, I kind of like my space. Your space. To mojo black sheep. Tell me about this job of yours. Advertising. But I'm sure you've already figured that out. I create ads for people's companies. Yes, so. I know what advertising is. Thank you, Joel. You sell people bullshit. I don't sell. They buy. <laughs> well, 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 whatever. Rocks your world, baby. Right about now, having Stevenson's job would definitely rock my world. Nice corner office. Ooh, corner office. Wow. So how are we gonna get this dead guy's corner office, Chief? Well, first of all, I need to win this new account. Come up with some new ideas for these vacuum folks. Oric. Vacuum, huh? Hmm. I don't mind dirt. Well, that's because you're messy. Yeah, well, life's messy. I got it. Got what? Life is messy. Conference room, five minutes. Joel! We need to talk about playback. Okay, yeah, I know, Michael. Just give me a sec, okay? Joel, this isn't the first time. How did you pay for that new car? Hmm? What did you just say? The new car. Seems a funny coincidence that you've got extra money at the same time we keep losing accounts to other agencies all over town using our ideas. They're my ideas. Bingo. I can't believe what I just heard. I'm going to the old lady. Oh, stop, stop, stop. Take it easy, all right? Michael's just the messenger. What? I don't know, man. I mean, come on. You're leading a pretty nifty life. I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, Joel, but we make about the same money. Exactly the same. Exactly. Your house, your stuff, it's new. OK, stop right there. You're about to cross a line you're not going to be able to come back from, pal. You gotta be kidding. What do you think? He's definitely up to something. Mm -hmm. Arthur Redwater, please. Michael Lunsford. Mr. Redwater, sir. Arthur. Bonnie Dune Vineyard is in the bag. These guys upstairs are clueless. Joel Goodman is a certified idiot. Wait, oh, hold on, hold on. By next week, I will have every piece of information that you need to not only get this account. See ya. Okay.
Can I help you there, Bub? No, thank you, Bub. May I ask where you're going? Yes. Where are you going, sir? Gift shop. Gift shop. Gift shop, fourth floor. No gift shop, fourth floor, sir. Not on the fourth floor, not anywhere. Right this way, sir. What? What? Hey, hey, hey. Where, where are we going? What? Why? I still think if we used a bunch of contrast. No, no, images, no, no. He wants his artwork. Come on, guys. Look, life is messy. Finish it. You can't keep me here, rat boy. It's nice, though. Yeah, it's nice. You know, you really got something special when you can just sit in silence and it's not that awkward silence, you know? Yeah. This is nice. If life is messy, I mean, really messy, like confusing and wrong and twisted and one girl just will not call you back. You keep having these crazy dreams about Mrs. Lunsford. And now, who are you trying to get to on the fourth floor? I was just visiting a friend. Yeah, yeah. Gift shop. You and I both know you got no business up there. No, as I say, I was just visiting a friend. But hey, look, I'll leave. It's no big deal. What's his name? One more time. What's his name? Mm -hmm. You listen to me, filth bag. It is my job to protect and serve the companies that do business in this building. Wow. <laughs> I'm impressed. <laughs> yeah. Well, make all the jokes you want. At least it's a job. See, the businesses here, they depend on me. They do very important things, and they don't need your kind. My kind? Yeah, your kind, snooping around, begging for scraps. Now you listen to me, fuzzlip. I could sit right here, not move one inch, and eat you whole. One quick. that go on and nobody miss you. Nobody. Joel Goodman. Lunsford Advertising. Call him. Call him. Right now. Who should I say is calling? Life is messy. You want to come home somewhere that's clean. Yes. A home that isn't messy. Yes, again, please, go on. Hey. Um, Joe, Joe. Yeah, Joel, no, no, Daddy, not now. Joel, there's a Mr. Binky Winky on the telephone. I thought it was a joke, but no, he's downstairs in the lobby, and I think you really need to talk to him. Answer me, what were you doing in the building? Oh, oh, I don't dare enter His Highness's office building, is that it? Huh? Oh, look at, look at Joel's wacko friend. I mean, what will people think? It's been real, Shakespeare. I'm out of here. No, 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 wait. No. No, you wait, you little turd. You wait. You wait in traffic. In your nice, tidy car. In your nice, tidy clothes. Crying and moaning about your nice, tidy wife and your not-so-tidy life. You wait. In traffic. It suits you. I quit! Hey. What happened? You're so late. Touch me. Lost my car. Oh, 
What? My guy, my carpool guy, quit. Well, if you ask me, it's a good thing. It was creepy. You don't mind me getting home four times a year. Look at this. It's 8 o'clock. This is ridiculous. Insane. That's it. I'm just, I'm just going to have to get a new guy. Honey, Stephen just took me through the most incredible workout. Tai, swan, do. It's like yoga, ballet, and oh, what a release. It stretches your mind, your body, your soul, and just makes you feel so, so. Long day. Are you wearing my robe? And slippers. Sorry, I, I, I just took a shower. Huh? I, I'm sorry. Am I the only one who seems to think there's something yeah. terribly wrong with this picture? Joel, sweetheart, I'm gay. Uh -huh. I'm not after your wife. And even though you're a decent looking guy, I'm not after you either. You see, Hope and I, we're, we're just friends. We just simply hang out while you do your life. What's your name? What? Your name. What's your name? Pig? Oh. Okay. Well, uh, <clears throat> my name's Joel. Are you a cop? Man, you're a cop. Oh, man! Oh, man! Oh, man! Oh, no, man! No, no. <laughs> Take it easy. Calm down. I'm not a cop. You swear, man? Yes, I swear. Oh. Oh. Nothing. I, uh, is this where you catch the bus? Uh, transfer. My kid stays with my sister while I'm working. I've told you that before. Oh, I, I guess I must have forgot. Joe, you, you look lost. No, no, I'm, uh, just, uh, just kind of looking around. Do you need a ride to your sister's? Oh, no, thanks. I can walk. She just lives around the corner. Bye. See you tomorrow.
I knew it was too good to be true. As I was saying, our concept centers around the idea of the vacuum in the house, and the house is a place of comfort in today's unpredictable world. Here's our hook. Auric, life is a mess. Your house shouldn't be. Oh, please. That is the... Wonderful. I love it. Yes? Yes, it's not bad. Not bad at all. Bravo, Tom. All right, we've got one hand here. One very, very good hand. Joel. I don't think... I'm not sure that I can beat that, Mrs. Lunsford. It's a very... Original, Tom. Thank you. You're folding? Yeah, I'm folding. Fine. Settled. You've got Bonnie June, Tom. Auric is yours. Congratulations. Treat me like your wife, huh? Pretend to be this great uh, husband and friend, and then you just you you cheat on me and you waltz off like nothing ever happened. Girls, girls, girls. Be it. Joel, don't you think you're being just a tad melodramatic? Melodramatic? Be melodramatic? You're a thief. You ripped me off. Okay, I don't think I'm tracking here. Oh, I'm sorry. Tell me. You're not tracking. Here. Okay, what about your presentation? Hmm? Huh? Life's a mess. Life is messy. Look, I don't know how you did it. But those are, those are our ideas. I mean, we thought of that. Thoughts are things, once it's out there. Besides, Joel, wasn't really your idea now, was it? Oh, what? Oh, you know exactly what I'm talking about. I know all about the bum. The bum. My carpool guy. My carpool guy? You stole my carpool guy? Joel, I didn't steal your carpool guy, all right? Come on, man. He's just a guy. You don't own him, all right? He's my okay, carpool whatever. guy. whatever. The fact of the matter is, I made him a better offer. I give him $10. And not for nothing, Joel, I let him right up front with me. This is nothing personal. What are you doing? Oh, come on. We're supposed to be friends, right? We got a history, okay, remember? You know what, pal? There is history and there's priorities. Frankly, man, I'm tired of looking back. Business is business. I'm getting mine. So will you please just excuse me? No. Joel, I'm telling you. What are you going to do? Huh? Joel, huh? this isn't third grade. We you... Huh? Taking notes, traitor? Probably gonna steal my wife, too. Well, I hear she's fresh for the picking. Hey, 
Hey, carpool guy, is he trying to buy you back? Not gonna happen, Jewel. Hey, think fast. Mm. Mm. Is this a latte? Got that thing's full of milk, come on. Cappuccino, cappuccino. How hard is that? Come on. Hello? Hello? Hey. Uh -oh. <laughs> Sorry I'm late. Don't you splash me. I'll splash you back. Ah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> hey, what happened to you? You missed dinner. You're swimming. Stephen cooked us dinner. I told you he was. You missed it. I feel Marsala. Are you okay? Yeah. I saved a piece for you, Joel. Oh. Um, that's great. So, uh, I'm here. You can go. Boyfriend. Joel? No. I don't want to be a nuisance. Joel doesn't like me. That's obvious. You know, Joel, you can be mean to me all you want. I don't like the way you neglect your wife. As a matter of fact, if I were her, I wouldn't stand for it. Well, it's a good thing for me you're not her, so get out of my house. Joel. He's not even gay. Joel. All right, I saw. caught him staring at your ass. He wants you, Hope, and not to just feed the deer with. He's trying to get in your pants. Can't you even see that? Oh, please. Oh, really? You want to prove it? Hmm? Gay chicken. Gay chicken? Yeah. Come on. You and me. Kiss. Joel! Huh? Come on, Steven. Kissed a lot of guys before, huh? Should be any problem. I'm a pretty decent looking guy. Come on, you and me. Let's have a little lip love, huh? Joel, stop. I mean it. Fine with me. Ready? But you guys are insane. I was born ready, sweet. You had enough, Joel? Want to make a play for second base? Stephen, I am so sorry. I'll call you tomorrow. Focus is less on the product itself and, and more on its significance as a tool in the house. Because after all, life is a mess. And it sure is swell to come home to a place that isn't. Close enough. Take a seat, partner. See? It's out of our hands sometimes. Life is uncontrollable. It's dangerous. It's wild. 
It's many things unpredictable. But when you enter your home and close that door, the world is finally how you make it. And making a better home means having an auric vacuum at your disposal. Life is messy. It's nice to come home to a place that isn't. I, I, I'll call security. Genius. Genius? Yes. Who is this man? Oliver Fast, sir. Oliver Fast, David Oric. That takes guts. Look at that costume. It had me fooled, and, and I don't go down easily, by the way. <laughs> He's going to be the point man on our account, isn't he? I, I insist on that. Hmm? Absolutely. Done deal. Mother. Done deal. <laughs> You play golf, sir? Mother, mother, mother! You're being totally irrational here, and I'm not gonna let it happen. Absolutely not. You cannot do this. It is absurd. You cannot allow some guy, some bum, to just walk in off the street and run a major account. What are you thinking? Mother, we... Mother? Mother? Mother, are you even listening? Mother, would you please put the phone back to your ear? Mother! Mother, I insist that you hear me out on this. And what did I tell you about that? Dog on the bed. You, down, now, come here. You. Mother. Mother, you cannot allow this hobo, this, this tramp, to walk in off the street and run work. That is insanity. Auric wants the man, and I want Auric. Ain't a difficult math, Michael. We lose him like we have lost all the others. And I'm calling it quits, and I'm going down to Palm Springs and fry with what is left of my face in the sun playing golf. You, then, may run what is left of the company into the ground. Oh, thank you for the vote of confidence, Mother. Speaking of insanity, the fact that I drag my ass to that office putting up with the horseshit on a daily basis, that's insanity. We have no idea who this man is. He's, he's a, a weirdo. He's a, just a bum off the street. He could be dangerous. It was only a costume, Michael, for God's sake. A disguise, a pitch, a creativity. Not that you have a clue what that would mean. Quite frankly, I find the mystery of the man very intriguing. It sure as hell beats putting up with the drivel that comes out of your mouth. And those stupid faces. Mm -hmm. Go to bed, Michael. Give your face a rest. Let your brain have a night off. Say it ain't so. Say it ain't so. It ain't so. They stuck you, Ollie. Nobody stuck nobody. I'm just trying to have a few chuckles. They stuck you like a pig. All over again. Ah, shut up. Go on about your business. So, 
You want to give me a clue here? What's going on? I'm not really sure. Can we do this later? Got to get dressed. Yeah. Give me a call. Joel, we gotta tell someone. I don't know. Wait, 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 wait a second. What do you mean I don't know? The guy's a criminal. You saw this stuff. Hell, you dug it up on him. I know, I know. It just doesn't sound like him. Well, no, what are you basing this on? The guy's a bum. Send him back to Skid Row. No, not yet, all right? I don't want to tell anybody yet. I want to talk to him first. Whoa, whoa stop. What, what, what part of the situation aren't you grasping? All right, this guy stole our job. You mean like you tried to steal the job from me in the first place? Look, Tom. If we have any shred of friendship left at all between us. Don't look, don't look. The guy chick's checking me out. That's a guy. Hey, Michael. <coughs> Take it easy there, Tex. It's food, not love. Oh, I know what you're going to say. Or fell in love with the guy. There's nothing I could do. Michael, this guy is a crook. Oh, yeah. I'm talking jail time, the whole nine yards. You can read about it all on the web. Look, this guy is into corporate espionage, fraud. This character's a graduate from the school of Enron. What are you two conniving over there? Nobody is conniving, mother. God dang, who ate my pie? Tom, you eat my pie. Wasn't me. Michael. Do I look like I eat pie, mother? Ah, oh, dang, last piece of pie. Come on, guys, what do I have to do? Start labeling everything around here? God. Who else knows about this? Me, you? Joel, I got this thing figured out. The playback thing? The frozen food deal? Your pal Oliver's been stealing your ideas. What are you talking about? Joel, you were marked. So you think you picked this guy up, don't you? Huh? He picked you up. What? What do you think? He was just out there waiting, waiting on the side of the freeway? He was waiting for you, pal, waiting for you to make your move. It's only a matter of time. That's... No, we... We lost those jobs. Mm -hmm. Those jobs were lost way before I even met him. Since when do you smoke? Oh, I smoke. I smoke, all right? When my blood boils, I smoke, baby, and it's 2.12 right now. Who are you? Well, mixed news, people. While we once again have Bonnie Dune Vineyard on our radar, we apparently are not on theirs yet. For reasons unknown to me, we have not made their short list. Perhaps it has something to do with our dreadful presentations last year. Now, I do know that they will be down here on the 15th, and I will continue to grind away at them. Now, should we snag them, and I still firmly believe that we can, internal pitches will be on the 8th, Mother? Mm -hmm. I highly recommend that we prep something anyway. Either way, we will be up against some very stiff competition on this one. Redwater Ewing at the top of the list. Joel, you start working on Bonnie Doon like I asked? Thank you, David. 
That's very kind of you, sir. I'm glad you liked it. Uh-huh. Okay. We'll speak tomorrow. Bye now. I don't know how you did it or what you're up to, but I know who you are. So what are you doing? You spying on us, huh? You spying on me? You, you using me? What are you, some kind of a, a corporate mole? Mole? <laughs> oh, Joel, you're watching too much television. If you think <laughs> you're going to steal my job... Hey, I didn't steal anything, my friend. Huh. You're the one who stole my idea. Life is messy. Those were my words. That was me. It wasn't an idea. That was... Come on, it was just a couple of words. You, you, you were a... A bum, right? That's what you were thinking, right? Don't judge a book by its cover. Those were your words. Now, look, this, uh... Th this isn't what it seems, man. Man, I was, I, I was a fall guy. A patsy, a stupid kid. I swear to you. Patsy? Mole. What the hell's going on around here? My life used to be just fine. It's one hell of a view, though, isn't it? Well, that depends on what you're looking at. Let's take a ride. You, get your coat. Bush? Just open your eyes and pay attention. Why? I put on my squirrel watch here. Alvin, Simon, and Theodore at 3 o'clock fall in. Those are chipmunks, not squirrels. Okay, you know what? I'm out of here. Oh, hey, Michael's over there. Hey! Listen, I survived prison and lived on the street. If you want me to show you how, keep talking. Excellent shot, Mr. Redwater. Uh -huh. There's your mole. Oh, man, his mother is going to kill him. Why? You get stuffed under a rock so long, you've got to come up for air sometime, somewhere. Pure Shakespeare. <laughs> Backstab. Oh, the pot caller. Shh, 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 shh. On the street, nobody notices you. You're like invisible. But the world keeps going round and round and round. You just sit back and watch the rats race. Sometimes you see things. Sometimes you see a lot of things because none of it's easy. I mean, you two couldn't keep your mouth shut. Look what I did with that. Man, you ever see the arrow on the FedEx logo? What? The arrow, big white arrow staring right at you on every truck, every envelope, right in your face. I guess I missed it. I didn't think so. Okay. Mr. Redwater, sir, I think you and I are ready for the tour. And tell me about this Redwater dude. Morning, Michael. Showtime. Excellent. chance to look at my proposal on uh, Bonnie Dune Bindi again? I did. The homeless bum thing again. Right. I can't miss. I put it back on your desk. Yeah, yeah, I saw that. Uh, you know, it's only in the preliminary stages, but uh, I'm really glad to hear that you liked it. That means a lot. Well, run with it. Mrs. L should be pleased. Good work, soldier. See you around the campfire. Thanks a lot.
bingo. You really think he's gonna buy it? He's already bought it. Trust me. The worst idea I've ever heard. Let's hope so. Well, what was jail like? You really wanna know? Summer camp. Really? No, not really. How did it happen? I mean, didn't they, didn't they have an attorney? Oh yeah, they had an attorney best money could buy their attorney they told me be a good company man and they'd pull out all the stops for me little fish takes a bait big fish swims another day hey Tom yeah is Joel's wife hot hey oh yeah she's really hot she does great ass. <laughs> oh yeah yeah Oh, see there? I knew it. Binky Winky! <laughs> Binky Winky! <laughs> ah, he graces us with his presence. What is this? Wait. Trust me. Well, we can all agree, poverty sucks. The local wino sips, purveyor of all spirits indeed. Who better than the wino to tell us how to spend? Are you insane? What? This is one of the most offensive things I have ever seen in my life. When I was a child, I lived in an old pickup, but my mother made sure I got a good education. Then I built this company from the ground up, from nothing, nothing. And to be insulted like this is damn LA agencies. Gentlemen, we're done. I think if he had let me finish. Martin! Marty, surfing a little of the naughty naughty. Do you need something? As a matter of fact, I do. First of all, lighten up! Second of all, what's Mrs. Lunsford's schedule look like? Mr. Graham. Yes? Hi, I'm uh, Joel Goodman. I work for Lunsford Advertising Agency. From bad to worse. I don't know what. Uh, sir, I realize that you've just been through a very bad experience up there. And how would you know that? I would like for you to take a, a leap of faith with me here, a, a very big leap, and allow us to speak with you about your account. I don't think Sir, so. I wouldn't be standing here if it wasn't very important to us and if I wasn't completely confident in what we have to show you. I'm not going to lie to you, sir. It would be a... Very big thing for me as well. How big? Very big. <laughs> that kid old enough to drive? Nice ride. You, you, you want me to wash your windows for you? 
Hey, my good man, I said, do you want me to wash those windows for you? <laughs> How can I wash your windows with the wipers going like that? I don't want you to wash my windshield, you moron. Get out of the way. Get out of the way, you freak. Now you... Now you just done messed up. We're good. We got a good hour on Michael. Where's Joel with the package? En route. Mrs. L? Ditto. Ha! Hello, sir. Welcome. Right this way. May I get you something to drink? I'm fine, thank you. No shortage of hospitality, I'll give you that. Yes, well, sir, you see, while we believe that size does matter, there's uh, always room at the table for respect. Uh-huh. Where'd you come up with that one? Borrowed it. This is Lunsford. You remember Randall Graham, Bonnie Dune Vineyard? Yes, yes, of course. Welcome. Thank you. Did they offer you anything? Oh, uh, yes, I'm fine, thank you. Michael should be here. Uh, uh, Tom? Yeah. He's been MIA all morning. I haven't seen him. Have you seen him? No. No. That would be my son. Never here when you need him, always here when you don't. <laughs> well, Mr. Graham had a rather bad experience this morning, and I'm hoping that we can restore his faith in our industry, or at least a little bit. What happened, if you don't mind telling me? Well, hell, I don't mind telling you. We were over at Redwater and Ewing. <laughs> And they propose a homeless man to be our spokesman. A homeless guy pitching our wine. I mean, are they insane? It's not what? No. Dressed in rags, smelling like rotten cabbage? Damned menacing. I don't know if the guy was being clever or funny or cute or what, but it wasn't. It was none of it. Insulting. Regretfully, I think I know who pitched that oh, idea to you. I'm at you. Howdy. Oliver Fast. Pleasure. Oh, Randall Graham. Likewise. You two have never met before. No. Not to my recollection. But I'll tell you, it's an honor. Love your wine. I'm a big, big fan of that Big House Red. Ah. Huh. Rat boy, remember me? I'm up at Lunsford. Come and get me. Ah! I'm so sorry, but I was so sure that he That's was. That's him. That's him. Who? The bum from Redwater Ewing. Him. Him. Disrespectful. Mr. Hollywood. Michael. Oh my God. Oh boy. You. You there? You can't just come. Oh, I'm so Mr. Lunsford, I'm sorry. I thought... Why, you cheat. Just get him out of here. Mother. Michael, march now. All right, let's go. Let's go. Hey, hey. Now, Michael. Stop. Go. Mother. Hey, don't, 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 don't. Get your hands off me, squirt. Mother. Sorry I'm late. Traffic was a mess. Oh. Oh. I wish you would have told me. I, I could have picked you up. Hey, Joel, come on. We're way beyond that now. <laughs> well, uh, so, Hope, this is uh, Oliver Fast, my carpool guy. And Oliver, this is... Binky Winky. Uh, yeah. <laughs> You're just as pretty as I imagined. Hey, I wow. picked them myself. Thank you. Who needs a flower shop? 
It's when you got rich folks' homes and springtime. <laughs> <laughs> They're beautiful. All right, well. <clears throat> Big house red. Lovely. Thank you. Let me put it this way. Stand on the side of the road trying to make chump change for a living. If you stick out a sign that says, we'll work for food, that gets you squat. But if you add Vietnam vet or some patriotic BS like that, Joel, you're looking at a good 20 bucks a day. And then if you scribble on God bless, that's good for another five. <laughs> well, except in California, where they probably just uh, give you the finger. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. So I guess Joel told you that I'm uh, now a Lunsford employee, and I'm the new tenant of the highly coveted Dead Guy's Corner Office. Corner Office? Wow. Yeah, I've had a noose around my neck, literally, and now I got a tie once again. It is remarkable how similar they feel. I give you six months. That long? Mm hmm You think? Mm hmm Thank you. I had a beautiful wife. She divorced me when the wolves ate me for lunch and sent me to jail. Who could blame her? Any children? No. None that I know of. <laughs> Might have been nice, though. To order something. I can't believe I was so gullible. I am an idiot. Hey, I kissed the guy. I can't believe he had me so. Come on, honey, cut yourself some slack. It's not such a big deal. You know, you try and be a decent human being, be open and honest, accept the world at face value, and what happens? It blinds you every time. Uh, sweetie, you not the first woman to be bamboozled by some guy who's trying to get your pants. Joel, stop it. I am angry. I want to be angry. Well, look on the bright side. At least you saved a few deer from starving to death. Mm. Well, for the record, saving the fucking deer is not the most important thing in the world to me. Do whatever you want with all of Michael's stuff. You know, just make it your own. That I might just hold on to. Welcome aboard. Whoever you are. Thank you, Mrs. L. And shave that buzz off your chin, kid. Make you look weak. <sighs> Joe, may I? Uh, yeah, please. Come in. Ah. I'm sure you know by now I've given Oliver Fast Michael's old job. Yes, ma'am. Well deserved. And hopefully some of his jailhouse muscle will whip us into shape around here. Let me finish. I'm going to make you an offer, Joel. Corner office is yours, kid. What about Tom? Oh, I wouldn't worry about him. He's been taken care of. Ma'am, uh... I'm flattered by the opportunity, but I uh, respectfully uh, have to decline. Come on, buddy. Mrs. Lunsford, please let me finish. I have pretty much everything that I want in my life right now. And while I love working here and my work, it's, my priority is my home, my wife. 
And your offer is more than fair, but uh, if it takes away from that, then uh, regretfully my answer is, is no. Double your salary. We'll work something out. Hey, gotta go. Come on, gotta go, gotta go, gotta go. I mean, animals, I like them in general, but a pet, like a cat or a dog, I already have more mouths to feed than I can handle now. You know what I mean? So anyway, I'm thinking to myself, maybe a bird, but not a dog. I don't think that would work. Yeah. Oh, oh, Joel, I've got it. You know what I could do? Mm -hmm. What? I could get him one of those pets that's not a pet. It's a computer thing. You take it for walks when it beeps. You feed it when it beeps. Oh, sure. Oh. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> the baby kicked here. See if you can fit oh, this. Yeah. Wow. Whoa, that is definitely a boy. Oh, that's a boy. It's a boy, <laughs> huh? Yeah. Uh, well, oh, boy. thank you. Oh, in that case, let's take a look at this. How about Liam? Oh, okay. wait, I really like this one. What about Luke? Luke? Luke, yeah. Yeah, I like Luke. Good Luke. my credit cards, you've closed the bank accounts, what am I going to do? Live on the street? Go! Go! Come on!
historical. Hi.